No way. So, so, hi there, and welcome to my channel and my first official Sims 3 upload. I am your host, Little Lady. You can call me Lady, or you can call me D. Just don't call me in the morning. But um, bump. Okay, right. I've been playing with my settings for so long, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. And this upload is pretty much long overdue because I'm good for starting over and doing the most, but... But this is it, y'all. Like, I'm going in, and before I go mad from perfectionism and doing too much, let's get this show on the road once and for all. And let me show you a nice little overview of my town. Do, do a little quick glance. This is, as you know, it's the beloved Sunset Valley, a place near and dear to my heart. And I'm you can see I've given it a bit of a makeover just to add some more excitement and variety to the base game because I'm pretty much starting from the ground up again. And up to this point, I've been obsessed with modifying my game um, and like renovating lots and stuff. So I'm at a point now where I've got like buildings I've spent months creating only to set them aside really. I really did. I set them aside and then I just went to the resource and started downloading buildings. Some buildings I did create, some buildings I um, downloaded and I renovated, but I it was a lot of fun though. I learned a lot along the way, but now it's really time to see the results of my work. This hilltop view looks quite different now than before. You know, it has this more modern feel to it, yet it's still cozy and quaint, not too busy, not too busy. I've added some new homes on vacant lots, replaced some of the existing family homes with nicer ones, and my favorite addition would probably have to be these townhouses over here. I love, I love them. They're placed in, like, the place, like, right leading up to my cul-de-sac, see? the cul-de-sac oh that's so cute <laughs> so the neighborhood actually feels a little bit well it will feel more populated than just having the altos and the land grabs just to visit so hopefully we get some tenants in them as you can see they're not really quite placed flat on their lots i'm gonna see i'm gonna try to see if i could work on that so i'm gonna leave that as it is for now and i'll work on it like in the background or something so some of the buildings that I added, I opened them up and I added the Zerbu and Enra's career mods just to see my townies at work. Seeing my townies at work has always been a dream of mine as a Sims player. And those two mods were a game changer. I'm looking forward to how that's going to work out. There are some kinks, but I'm going to see if I could work them out and stuff. If I just keep starting over, I'll never get to actually play and have the fun I want to have. I knew that I would be starting at base level, so finding lots that, you know, buildings that were CC free was a big deal. And sometimes it was finding what I actually wanted, you know, something with all the amenities that I wanted, it was kind of hard. So, hence why some of them required renovating. I hope I don't offend any of the creators of the buildings, but I love your buildings just for the fact that it's even in the game. I've left some things, you know, just to keep some element of surprise for myself after all. So that's pretty much the overview of new Sunset Valley. Restyling my Sims. See, these are the altos right here. And basically, um, I restyled them into like new clothes and hairstyles more fitting to their personality and in line with their favorite colors. And then I set them up in careers that were like suited to them based on their traits and skills. So TLDR, I've spent a lot of time putting in this work, okay? I really so badly want to say don't be like me and encourage you to just hop in and enjoy the game if you want to play. Don't worry about the settings being perfect or any of that modding business. But then again, I had a lot of fun and learned so much along the way. So now what I will recommend is that like you reflect on how you'll want to play the game first and foremost, you know, specifically the things you want to see in your games. Like, do you want to see the Sims go to work? Do you want your Sims to be, you know, in an open work lot? Personally, I didn't. I wanted to see all the other sims go to work, but I kind of still wanted my sim to do the rabbit hole. And that's something, that's an option you can have. Are you going to reconstruct your lots? Are you going to reconstruct the families? Like, you know, just little things. Just reflect on 
how you want to play the game, how you want to see the game, what you want it to look like, things like that. Because there are hundreds and thousands, maybe thousands of mods out there in the Simisphere that and that can get overwhelming really, really fast. So don't start with too many mods at once as things can get confusing right there. Before you start getting in over your head, just don't start with too many mods, okay? Um, you won't take that last bit of advice. I know you won't. You're going to start with too many mods and that's okay. You'll find your flavor and you'll get the hang of things. You can test things out. Trial and error is the best thing. I think I've spent enough time on this intro, so let's get into... Demetria's backstory now. So this is Demetria and she is a graduate fresh out of college. She's from a small town and has a really big family. So my background for her is that she fell in love with New Sunset during her college years from it being where she and her college friends spent most of their free time. She and her friends would come here and visit the beach or go clubbing, and this was known as the cheapest date spot for the college students over there. So she even worked a few seasonal jobs here at the theater and the central bank. She's never she's never went back home since she left, but mostly because multiple members of her family would visit her occasionally, so she never really got the chance to miss them. So uh, right now she's starting new routes here because as mentioned, she's from a small town, which means everyone pretty much pretty much knows each other there. And her is not being the only big family in her town means that damn near everyone's related to to everyone. She was quite the party girl in co party girl in college, and she always got by on her grades. And no one really understands how because she built herself quite the wild reputation in college. But here she is, getting older. She's in her new stage of life, her young adult stage of life, and um, she's just trying to create her own path in life. I guess she wants to have a family eventually of her own and become the quintessential socialite in her town. I guess. Hopefully she won't fall back into her old party ways. That's going to be fun. That's 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 her background and that's what she's about. She's family oriented. She's excitable. She's a genius. She's a green thumb and a computer whiz. Her favorite color is lime green. Her favorite food is autumn salad and her favorite music is indie. And by the way, she is a Gemini. So I like the traits. I like everything going on with her. And the fact that she's a Gemini. So this is giving eccentric already. Family oriented means that uh, her interactions with family members will have better results. She'll be better at teaching toddlers life basics, such as how to walk. And she can, we can expect her to want to have kids and grandkids. Then as excitable, she'll cheer for and be excited about the basic things in life. Yay, woo. I should have probably said that more excited, right? Yay, woo. But moving along, as a genius, she'll learn the logic skill much faster than other sims. She's going to enjoy playing chess and will improve at it quickly. And she can solve crazy mathematical problems on a computer for cash. So that's lit. Let's see. As a green thumb, she'll learn the gardening skill faster than other sims. She has a natural talent that causes her plants to grow higher quality harvestables more often, and she can talk to plants in her garden. With enough gardening skills, she can even revive dead gardening plants. That's cool. And as a computer whiz, she can hack on a computer at night. She'll have tons of fun playing computer games. She'll make friends more easily over the computer and she'll improve her understanding of logic faster than normal when playing chess on the computer. Okay, so that's cool. Let me see. Computer whiz says she'll improve her logic faster than normal when playing chess on the computer and genius says she's in, she'll enjoy playing chess and will improve at it quickly. All right, so we're only playing chess on the computer is what you're telling me. That's pretty cool. And um, her life wish is to be a dynamic DNA profiler as a forensic specialist in the what, law enforcement track. So she's going to reach level 10 in the law enforcement career track. Let's read that as a matter of fact. Special agents in the field require the best data to apprehend criminals and only the finest analytical minds will suffice. After all, criminals only leave so many useful clues, making the work challenging. Students of logic with a knack for painting make the best forensic analysts. Did, oh, okay, well, that was it. So yeah, she has to reach level 10 in the law enforcement career track. I've never played the law enforcement career track, I don't think. So that's going to be 
fun. I think I want to go through all the career tracks and stuff. We're going to be playing a legacy if, if it's not obvious by now. No, actually, we're going to be playing a leprosy. So I do want to like do the whole family tree thing. And but on top of that, I want to add new packs, like new expansions as I go along, too. So I'm probably going to have to go back and read the rules again. I'm going to go and read the um, legacy rules again to see exactly how, I, how I'm supposed to play it without cheating myself, you know, into an advancement. Although I do remember like when I when I read the rules, I remember saying like, don't give yourself an advantage. Like you're supposed to play it vanilla, totally clean. And I did put an advantage in here with this garden right here. Listen, this is going to be my money makers. So yeah, like I said, this garden over here, this community garden is definitely going to be my advantage. Are you kidding me? Stop playing. I am going to use this garden to all my advantage. Okay. Oh, and there's a money tree in here. Nice. Two money trees in here. I'm going to be getting that bag, baby. So I'm working my way up. How are we going to get money in here? We're going to definitely be doing the garden. There's going to be work and extra cash for extra cash. I don't know. Maybe get her to paint or fish or something. I'm going to do something like that. And uh, I'm going to do a lot of dumpster diving. Do a lot of dumpster diving and like rock collecting and stuff like that. Like everything that can acquire her the extra cash she will be doing. Okay. As a Gemini, yeah, she's all about that money. All about that money and all about that high life. Okay. We're about to get busy. All right. And before we get into her, we're just going to build her a quick little shack. back to live mode do you call it live mode or live mode because i am totally a live mode girl i've always been a live mode girl but um i see a lot of people out there say live and it makes me feel like i should be saying live too live mode because i mean live mode is when like you know everything is live and you're getting your game on but live mode is like when you're living and stuff but you're moving around. It's not just living. I don't know. I don't even know. And um, that's pretty much it. I think we've covered all the bases. And then we could just get right on into it. I have to change some settings. There's like a few settings that I'm going to need to change. Hey guys. Editing lady here. And I'm not showing all of that. So... I've sped up the process of setting up my clubs and as you can see there are a few of them um, If you're interested in how I set up my clubs, let me know because I do have a video of that as well So that's it. That's the intro the next episode We will be playing and I just wanted to introduce myself and my sim Demetria If you've made it this far, I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around I hope you'll come back for the next one. I'm going to end this off here, though. And um, if you're down to encourage me to keep going, hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos. Your girl is on YouTube. But if anything, a comment will make my day, too. So tell me something good. I like to talk. I'm out of here. Until the next one. Susu. So -so.